Hi everyone, Susan Campfield here with SueStampfield.com. Welcome to my stamp room. Come on in, relax. We're going to just create together and have fun and hopefully come up with some creative ideas to inspire you to make and send handmade cards. Thank you so much for all that you do to make the world a kinder place by making and sending those handmade cards. I know it makes a difference, especially to the people who receive them. And I think it makes us feel good too when we're um, reaching out to people and we know that we can touch them in that way. And uh, it's always good to create and I find it very relaxing. So welcome, so glad that you're here. Happy World Card Making Day. Today, October 7th is National World Card Making Day, or I shouldn't say national, it must be international. World card, it's a whole world, the whole world. We're gonna make the whole world a kinder place by making and sending handmade cards. So uh, welcome, we're gonna do a little creating tonight. Uh, I'm hoping that you all will um, jump in and help me design the cards. I'm, I'm hoping that we can make two. Um, shout out to my moderator, Jennifer Walsh. Jennifer, I totally changed my mind on the second card we're making tonight. So she's going to be prepared to just go with the flow too. And um, thanks so much. I hope you're all having a good weekend. It's Saturday here in Minnesota in the USA. It might be uh, Sunday if you're in the South Pacific. Um, so yay, World Card Making Day. So today Stampin' Up! had a free World Card Making virtual event. Um, let me know in the comments if you were able to join in on that, um, on that fun thing. Hey, Cheryl. Yes, Denise. Uh, Denise is my uh, third level upline, <laughs> my great grandma. So um, in the Stampin' Up, um, I was considered a family. And so um, the person who I signed up under was my Stampin' Mom and then my Stampin' Grandma is the person above her and so on. So I always think of it as a family. So I'm very fortunate to have a lot of Stampin' Up! children um, in my team, and um, we have a lot of fun. Many of my um, team members uh, just are, are what we call a hobby demonstrator. They um, they love to uh, make cards. They love to stamp up products, and so they've signed up to be a demonstrator to get a discount on their products, and uh, so they can make and share more cards. I also have team members who um, like to spread the joy of stamping by um, inspiring others to create. So they'll have friends come over and they'll stamp together. And, uh, and that's the way that they, they fill their bucket. So, uh, whatever works for you is perfect. Um, I'm going to go ahead and am I going to switch cameras? Sure. <laughs> I'm going to remind you that I do send out free project sheets. So if you want even more creative inspiration, you can go to cstampville.com click on subscribe for the free project sheets and you'll get some creative inspiration in your inbox. You'll get two free project sheets right when you sign up. And then I send them out a couple of times a week. Um, Karen is asking if there's a replay available for the World Card Making Day. Um, there is, that will be available tomorrow, uh, the 8th through the end of the month. So that's called Video On Demand. Um, I've shared the link to the event um, in my Sue Stamfield Facebook group and also my Sue Stamfield Facebook page. So you can um, access the World Card Making Day that way. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> so I'm going to show you a couple of the cards. I only I only made two of the three cards today. Bad, bad. Um, the first one, I was a little late joining in and I uh, kind of missed out on the other one. So, oh, thank you, Myrtle. You're so sweet to say that they're the best project sheets ever. I put a lot of um, time into them because I like uh, I like a thorough project sheet, right? So um, my tutorials, my, my crafter new tutorials, I put even <laughs> uh, excessive amount of time into because I want those to be uh, step by step and so that they help you out um, and help you create more. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera down here. So I'm gonna show you, um, I'm going to show you one of the cards I made today, which I actually follow the directions. I'm so proud of myself because I go, I tend to go my own way um, sometimes, and uh, I I like to change things up. It's all on what what works for you. So World Card Making Day, they had card measurements that we could print off uh, the website, and then they had directions on the cards. And so this was the heartfelt hexagon card. Now you may not recognize this stamp set. However, it is available for you to purchase. It is on the website. It's called Heartfelt Hexagon. 
and it is a punch bundle. And I just thought this card that we made today was adorable. And um, I really like that this has a nice sympathy sentiment because sometimes that can be a hard one to find. And I like the with sincere sympathy. I just think it's a nicely worded and I like the different um, fonts in the greeting there. And all sorts of other really nice um, sentiments. I like sending you lots of love and hugs too because you know that's what we do right that's what we do when we're sharing the um sharing the kindness so this um, heartfelt hexagon bundle is kind of a hidden gem it is available to purchase and uh, the punch is super fun so this was the the card where i followed the rules <laughs> and then uh, the one i did not get done yet was the oh i don't even know if i have it in here yeah i do the circle sayings one. So um, that's coming. Um, knowing me, I'll probably uh, uh, change change that up too, just because I, I'm, I have trouble following the rules sometimes, you guys. I get expired and I decide to go a different route. So the one that we are going to, um, okay, the, <laughs> I'm laughing because I my card looks nothing like this. So this was the other one I made, except for um, I actually do not have Earth and Textures uh, bundle, which is what this one was based off of. And so my intent was to make the layout, but my layout ended up coming out different. <laughs> but I came up with a really cute card. So we're going to make that tonight. And then I'm hoping we'll make a second one with a layout like what I made, but um, with different products. And I'm hoping you help me design that one. So we're going to start with a piece of Misty Moonlight. Misty Moonlight was a color that we had a few years back as an in color and it has come back in the color refresh and has been added to the regular line. And it's just a very soft blue. Um, we were just talking about sympathy cards. This would be um, actually a lovely uh, color for a sympathy card. It's just very peaceful, I think. And um, I'm a changer upper. <laughs> That's right, Linda, you got me. You got me pegged. Um, and this is also a great combination. If you are like me and you love Knight of Navy cardstock, this is a great pairing with that um, because it's it's a little bit lightened up from Knight of Navy. So I've got my uh, Misty Moonlight cardstock here. It's five and a half by eight and a half, and I've scored it at four and a quarter. So I've got your kind of regular run of the mill card base here, at least in the US. And we're going to use, oh, what are we going to use? <laughs> I have been having a lot of fun with the Winter Meadow um, Designer Series paper and the Magic Meadow. Where is it? Here it is. Hang on. The Magic Meadow um, stamp set. So we're going to use that. We had fun playing with this the other day. Where is that one? Oh, hang on. Let me grab it. Um, here's one of the cards that we made with this, um, with that layout that has shows both sides of the designer paper. Um, it's just a beautiful stamp set. Uh, although it is talking about winter, the sentiments are winter or um, season of sparkle could be a holiday card. Um, I feel like this paper could go throughout the year. And I think this would be particularly lovely um, with uh, um, a, sentiment, uh, a sympathy situation. I just, because the colors are so soft and, and watercolory. Now I just have one of the, the pages of the winter meadow paper pulled out here, but um, there's just lots of pretty ones. We used this last time too. Did, well, my time, yeah, uh, last Tuesday we used this. We made this card right here with the winter meadow. So um, actually, I made this one after the video. This fun fold. This was the one we made on the video, right? This one with the lost lagoon. So um, so super pretty. And this one is. Um, this one is uh, now back in stock. It was out of stock for a little bit while because it was so popular. So we're going to play with this one tonight. And I think I'm going to use this pattern. I know I'm going to use this pattern. <laughs> so I have got some dies here. Those are not the dies I want. I have more dies here. Okay, here we go. I love designer paper and I love dies. I also love embossing folders. And so on a lot of my cards, you're going to see those different elements. I don't think we're going to use an embossing folder tonight, but we are going to use some dies and some designer paper. So I'm going to start by 
Um, oh, he did snowflakes all over the front. Cute. And we have a really cute snowflake blessing folder. I just said I wasn't going to use that, didn't I? We're also going to use some other dies uh, besides the Magical Meadow Bundle, which is what these dies are. These are the ones that go with the set. So these ones cut out um, the images. This one embosses snowflakes on your card. And this one cuts out kind of standalone pieces. Um, we're also going to use these dies. These are the nested essential dies. And we're going to use this one right here. So I'm going to pull that out. And let me grab a paper trimmer. And we're going to get this party off, kicked off here. So, let's cut some paper. And let's see. Oh. How long is this die? So this die, when I lay it in my paper trimmer, I can see, sorry, I'm using a ring light and we've got another light and we've got reflections here. So apologize for that, but it's a little bit less than four inches. So I'm gonna leave, need at least four inches to cut mine. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut my paper in half at six inches. Um, you wouldn't have to do that. You could cut it exactly the size, but I'm not quite sure which patterns I want to pick up. So this will give me a little more flexibility. So let me grab my die cutting machine and bring this right up here. Now I wanted to mention that, so we had this Stampin' Up! event today. This one was available to um, anyone to watch. So it was a public one. Usually the Stampin' Up! events are just for demonstrators. And I, I get a lot of questions. People ask me where I get my inspiration, where I get my creative ideas. Uh, I get a lot of them from um, my fellow Stampin' Up! demonstrators. I get them from Stampin' Up! events. I also get them like this one today that inspired me. Um, swap cards. So many of you do have seen me share swap cards and those inspire me a lot. Um, so if you struggle with creativity, I have found being a demonstrator um, makes me even more creative. <laughs> many years, many years ago, I've been a demonstrator for 26 years. I never imagined that I would be a demonstrator that long, um, but I joined because I, um, uh oh, hang on, hang on. We gotta make sure that I have my, if you don't have your top plate over the die, it will not cut, which can be useful sometimes, but I really want this to cut. So, <laughs> So um, I was worried when I, I went to a party, a Stampin' Up! party, and I loved it and loved, I was a stamper already, but I struggled because I had one company's brand of stamps and one company's ink and another company's markers and someone else's cardstock and nothing ever matched. So I loved how everything matched with Stampin' Up! Look how pretty that is. All right, we're going to cut another one. This one with a little bit different pattern. Um... What? I'll grab this one right down here. How about that? Okay. And um, so I fell in love with the Stampin' Up! products and I went to, I booked a party and I had several, went to a bunch more parties and um, my uh, demonstrator said to me, you know, you would be really good about at doing this. Have you ever thought about doing it? And I hadn't really. Um, and I, you know, I knew that it was an option to just do it as a, a hobby or just for fun and get the discount and so forth. But actually, I was really excited by the idea of um, spreading my love or sharing my love of stamping up with or stamping with other people. And so I like the teaching aspect of it. Um, but I was I was worried because stamping was my my favorite thing, right? And I was afraid if I did it like as a job that I wouldn't love it. But um, clearly, 26 years later, I'm having more fun than ever. And I will tell you, I'm a little bit unique in that way. Most of my team members uh, enjoy this just to get the the discount. They do it as a hobby, and. Um, that's so cool. That's perfect. They just, they want the discount. Some of them have a, you know, family, uh, family member or friend who also shops with them, but some of them do do classes and, um, some of them have, uh, do videos and online, but it's, you don't have to, it's totally up to you, um, how you want to do it. So I'm cutting one of these also out of plain white. Again, we're using the nested essential dies and the winter meadows paper. All right. Do I have everything cut? No, I don't. We want to cut some some doodas. <laughs> That's what my upline always called them, doodas. So let me see. 
Oh, friends, I've lost my first thing. Oh, dang. All right, let's 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 pull out some bits here. We're going to cut this one. It's kind of like a, a pine branch, I would say. Um, we also could do, I might cut several because who knows what we'll decide to go with. And then I'm going to, I love this one. Look how gorgeous this is. It's kind of like uh, pine needles with little berries on it, I guess. Um, this one is all little berries. If you want to do holly and berries, you totally could do that. All right, I've got these. Let's see what I've got. Some cardstock somewhere. <laughs> Found it, friends. Take a sip. Let me know what is in your cup. We play a little game here because I am a messy crafter and I lose stuff all the time. So when I, when I lose it and then when I find it again, we take a sip of our beverage. All right, so I'm going to cut those two out of white. This one I'm going to cut out of silver. So this is the um, gold and silver glimmer paper. This one is not in the catalog, but it is available in the online exclusive part of the website. And these have, um, you found it, Bonnie, woohoo! Um, these have adhesive sheets on the back. So I see some of you uh, who are watching and our demonstrators are kind of sharing your story that you are your own best customer. And that is, you know, it, it's whatever you want to get out of it, right? Uh, if you want to get some creative inspiration, um, get a great discount on products, it's awesome. And we're talking about this because Stampin' Up! is having a, an amazing offer on joining right now. So um, it's their 35th year and you can get the starter kit at a discount. So that's why we're talking about this. And boy, Jennifer's probably going to be able to drop that info in the comments because... Susan doesn't know what she did with it. <laughs> we used it as a scrap paper in the last video. Um, basically, you can get the $125 in products for $64.35, or there's another option where you can get um, pay $99 and get more product. So uh, it's totally up to you, and you get free shipping on that. Now, if you're not interested in being a demonstrator, that's totally fine. If you want to place an order, you might want to wait until um, next week because, ooh, this did not cut, you guys. Hang on. It didn't cut quite all the way right here. Probably, see how this one cut really well? It was on the outside edge. This one that's closer to the center and my machine um, is getting a little bit old, uh, did not quite cut all the way. So I'm going to send this through again with this one closer to the outside. Let's see how this one did. Um, this one, I also didn't get a good cut in the middle. It might have cut because this has adhesive sheet backing on it and I just can't tell that. So I'm gonna just be cautious and send it through a second time. So, hey Patricia, you're just in time. <laughs> so, um, all right, there we go. So if you are a demonstrator and you're watching, let me know. Ooh. Did that still cut? Well, let's see if it did. Let's find out if it cut. I think it just didn't cut the backing, which I don't care if it cuts the backing. I just want the front to cut. Oh, look at that, you guys. So pretty. Just going to squiggle it out. So uh, this is new for us. We have not had a... a um, we have adhesive sheets where you can make your own sticky paper, <laughs> but having one that has the sticky sheets pre-applied is pretty awesome. So I didn't think it cut because it just didn't cut through the backing, but it did cut through the part I needed to cut it through. So um, Bonnie is saying um, you, if you have that problem with your machine, you can use a shim and she is absolutely correct. So um, I see lots of you joining in and telling your Stampin' Up! story. Um, I, uh, as you know, I'm passionate about um, sending cards to make the world a kinder place. And you know what? I'll be honest with you. I, I do send cards, but I not as many as I would like. However, hopefully I'm inspiring and encouraging you all to send cards so that that helps. We can do it together. We can do great things, right? <laughs> I'm poking this out because this is a very delicate um, one and I don't want to rip it. So we got that one out of white. What are the dies I'm cutting with? These dies are the magical meadow dies that go with this stamp set. So, and they are awesome. <laughs> and I'm not 100% sure which ones we're using today. So we're going to do 
several. I've really been enjoying this stamp set. Or, ow! I, <laughs> all right, when you're using the paper piercer, friends, or excuse me, the take your pick tool, be careful to not <laughs> poke yourself. It's quite sharp. That is the whole idea. Oh, come on. Once I cut it twice, I really have it stitched in there. So I'm going <laughs> to I'm such a klutz. That's so funny. Oh, goodness. Be careful with sharp objects. <laughs> All right. Come here, you. Oh, almost got it convinced to come out. There we go. I don't even know if I'm going to use this one. That's what's really hilarious about it. All right. There we go. <laughs> That's not even bleeding. That's the worst part, right? You get a paper cut when you're making a card and then you bleed on your card. Oh, I hate that. However, uh, if that happens to you. Um, that liquid banded stuff is amazing and that will save your card. <laughs> However, it can sting a bit. So my mom won't use it because she says it stings. <laughs> All right, let's bring in our card here. All right. So we are very, very loosely, and I say very, very loosely. I was inspired by this layout, but I ended up doing it differently. So for this card, they took the earthen textures and they used the, um, the vase die to cut a vase shape and also make a banner. So this is actually the, the one of the vases. Um, but I like the, the three layouts. So I thought, well, I don't have that stamp set and dies, but I do have this one and I like how that looked, but I ended up liking it better. Um, so I did like two, two pattern ones here. These are actually watercolored with watercolor paper and the greeting down here. I liked that idea, but I decided not to stagger it because my um, nested essential dies are a little bit longer. Now you certainly could, you could do this, shove this one over here. You could shove this one over here and then have this one over here um, or vice versa. But I actually liked it kind of in a row. I'm a little bit like that, right? So um, let's see. Oh, Bonnie, that's, I, that's so, I'm so glad you said that. So Bonnie is sharing that um, she used to make cards, but not send very many of them because she worried they weren't good enough. And let's face it, if you've ever gotten a handmade card in the mail, it does not matter. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, yes, it's nice and it's a pretty card, but the bigger thing is like, wow, somebody thought of me, thought enough of me to make a card for me and send it to me. That is amazing. Oh, this is going to be scary. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm going to be, um, yeah, things can, yeah, I like things aligned. You're right. It's, I'm a little bit um, structured that way, which is funny because we all know I'm really messy. So it's funny that, that I care about that. I'm realizing I probably would have been better off to have stamped the sentiment prior to cutting it out because it's not clear. Mm. And so I am I'm gonna just hold my just okay. Whew. All right, that's okay. So I have winter wishes right here. Um, again, I think this would be lovely with a um, a sympathy, like with sincere sympathy here from the heartfelt hexagon stamp set would be beautiful. But we're gonna do this one. We're gonna have it be winter wishes, and. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Bear with me. I was just checking to see, did I cut a piece for the inside? Oh yes, this will work. So this is, what size is this, Sue? Well, that's a good question. Three and three quarters by five is the size of this piece. And yes, you're correct. It is misty moonlight. So, all right. So we're going to, we're going to stick these um, pieces of the... <laughs> Got stuff everywhere. We're going to stick down our uh, nested essential die cut pieces from the beautiful winter meadow. I did purposely pick some that were had a lot of white space. Um, I think this card would be just as pretty with ones that are a little more concentrated with uh, in other parts of the paper that have, um, you know, just more pattern. Uh, totally your choice. So, um, ah, found it. Take a sip, everyone. I found my adhesive and we are going to stick this down. So the top two, and I'm telling myself this out loud so that I don't forget. The top two, my plan is to stick down with adhesive. 
the uh, bottom one I'm going to be popping up with dimensionals after I put our little um, die cut pieces behind it. That's my game plan. Now I might need to adjust this one a little bit. So I'm going to put it, put adhesive on it. I'm not going to press it real hard because I might need to pop it back up and adjust it possibly. Let's see here to be careful with this guy because it's the adhesive sheet so it's sticky on the back. No, I think that's going to be okay. Does that look centered, you guys? Does that look... Yeah, it, it's, it, it'll work. All right. So we're going to take our pretty um, silver glimmer. So this is our frosted uh, piece. It's actually here in Minnesota. It's chilly today. It's in the 40s. So um, it, it, it's feeling like this, right? So, um, and then this is going to go on top. So um, you send your cards to nursing home residents and people that are shut-ins. That's lovely. That's so wonderful. So you're using, you're doing a card ministry, um, which is just wonderful. So thank you for what you're doing. Um, some people I know get together with ladies, uh, demonstrators get together with ladies at their church um, or men and uh, stamp for the deacons, cards for them to the, the church uh, members to send um, to shut in some whatnot. So it's all good. All right, friends, which one do we want to do? I would love your feedback here. Do we want the one with the leaves or do we want the one with the pine needles? Let me know in the comments which one you like better. And while you're voting, we're definitely going to have this one here. I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of this piece. And then we'll do our inside sentiment. And then we're going to make another card that I have no idea what it's going to look like. <laughs> And we'll figure it out together. So you like both pine needles, pine needles, leaves, 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 leaves. Looks like the leaves are in the lead. All right, we're going with the leaves. So before I stick this down, I'm going to go ahead and put the leaves right in here. And I might, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to, hmm, no, don't dare. I was going to say I might stick another dimensional on there, but I think it, they'll stick to this one. Yeah, I can tell they're sticking to this one, so that's good. This one's got adhesive sheet on it, so I don't need to worry about it. It's going to be good. All right, so we've got that adhered. So pretty. And then we're going to do an inside piece here. For inside, I'm going to do the Misty Moonlight ink here with a greeting. Ah, found it. <laughs> Was, how'd I get way over there? Oh my gosh. All right. Take a sip, everyone. I, um, I'm afraid to sip my water because I'll probably spill it. So <laughs> it is here on my desk and I probably will take a sip in a minute, but I don't trust myself right now. All right. May this season of sparkle bring joy and delight. So, and I can see I have this on the block crooked. So there we go. Um, and then I'm just going to add, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It's a little um, scene. Let me show you on the stamp set. It's a little scene, a forest scene with the pine trees. There's also a bigger one. Um, I'm going to use this little one, and it's just perfect for inside the cart, or this would also be really pretty on the um, envelope flap. I'm going to put this one down near the bottom. I'll show you my other cart in a few minutes. It, um, <clears throat> so I don't know if you can just see that little forest at the bottom. Um, the other one, I actually put it above the grating. And you can, and I use the pine needle so you can see the difference between the two cards that way. So I'm glad you guys picked the leaves because now we can see both versions. All right, so I'm going to put some adhesive on here and stick these in. I love these uh, stamps and dies too. They are just beautiful. Yeah, the pine tree scenes are really nice. Um, so I'm just going to pop this in. Now this could have been a four by uh, five and a quarter. I don't know. For whatever reason, Susan did a slightly bigger uh, border on that one. Just because. I'm going to add some gems on here. It will probably not surprise anybody. Hang on. I got to <laughs> I gotta dig them out of the drawer. Dig them out of the drawer. Now we could actually do. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, oh, no, I'll be boring. I'll do the same ones I did before. I think I'll do these. All right, let's do these. 
These are the Tinsel Gem 3-pack, and they have Misty Moonlight in them. So I'm going to go with that. But again, that's what I love about Stampin' Up! products is the... the um, I don't, you know, I can find a gem that is the, exactly the same color as the cardstock I'm using, um, which just makes it super easy to make an attractive looking end result, right? Because I do think, you know, like Bonnie was saying, it was hard for her to send her cards at first. So if we like our card, it makes it more likely that we're going to get that card in the mail to somebody, right? If we like it too much, we might keep it. So make sure you got a little mistake in there. <laughs> so that you're okay with sending it out, right? So there we go. Um, that That is our card. Now, we just talked about today, um, Sarah Douglas, uh, the CEO of Stampin' Up! Um, was saying about her, so her mother, who is the founder of Stampin' Up! Shelly, um, she always says no naked envelopes and always adding a stamp to the envelope. So I was just wondering if these trees, yeah, they do. I don't even have the label on this one yet. I have not inked up the stamp. This is the first time I am inking up the stamp. So hang on. Let's just add a little forest fun to the outside of our card just so this one will be all ready to go. This one is a textured stamp so it really takes the ink. Oh I got it on the I've got it on my block kitty wampus because my block is a little bit small. There we go. I got it almost straight. <laughs> so now my my um, envelope coordinates with my card, which is fun. Usually make two of the of the cards and so you can keep one and then then you don't have to feel, you know, like, oh, I got to save it. If you, that's a good idea, Bonnie. Thanks for sharing that. So here is um, the other version. This one I did the pine needles in white instead of the leaves. And um, I did really similar. Boy, I did almost exactly the same <laughs> spots on the sheet. And then on the inside, I just stamped the little forest above the greetings. So very similar, but just a slightly different take on that. And oh, should we make another card? How are we doing on time, Jennifer? How are we doing on time? Okay, we, it's 8.04. I try not to go over an hour. Can we do it? Let's try it. All right, we're totally, well, not totally changing it up. We're going to stick with the same, whoopsie, Jennifer, this is where I said I, I did something different than I told you I was going to do. Um, <clears throat> now, I also wanted to mention on this one, can I find it? Um, oh, shoot. Where did it go? Um, you could also stamp and die cut this, the greeting in there, and you could add that to your little bouquet. That would also be another option. Okay. Um, all right. We're going to put these dies away. We're going to really hope Susan doesn't <laughs> lose any of them. All right. Let's, let's just, where's, where's my little magnetic dishes? All right. We need, this is a job for a magnetic dish. All right. I don't want to lose these guys. Okay. So I'm going to set these aside and we're going to do another card. Okay. I put it across the room. All right. What are we going to make? So I'm thinking we're going to use these. This um, is called, is this one the Christmas Classics? I gotta look. Oh, this is the Joy of Noel bundle right here. So let's grab the Joy of Noel stamp set. Ah, oh, found it ah, on the shelf where it belongs. So um, this one, uh, these are the matching dies. You can stamp the elements and die cut them out. It also has some standalone dies. We're gonna kind of try that same idea. Um, as this card, but use the pine needles as our bits that, that are coming out here and um, a different paper. So the paper that is part of this suite, I pulled it out and then I covered it up. Oh my gosh, Susan, what did you do with it? Hang on, friends. It is here. Oh, found it. Aha! Take a sip, everyone. All right, so let's look at the paper for this um, this particular uh, Joy of Christmas is the name of the paper. Joy of Noel is the bundle we're going to use. There's another absolutely gorgeous suite in this or uh, in this suite, um, the Christmas Classics. There's also a specialty paper 
that has just some beautiful, like you could do this card. I could totally see it with the musical notes too. Um, but this one, we had a lot of fun doing some black bear cards <laughs> with the, um, the paper in here that is like a, a buffalo plaid sort of. And I might have used it all up. Oh, I used, the, yeah, I think all the red has been used up. Um, there is a piece in my other pack, I think. But I also did the card in green, which I just sent down for my, my father-in-law's 92nd birthday is today. So I sent that card for him. Um, okay, so I'm trying to decide which pattern I want to use here. Um, don't want to use that one. I'm thinking I'm going to use this one. Now this one is pretty, and what I like about this particular pattern is that when Christmas is over, you could use this for spring cards. This could be for any any card, right? And the back um, actually could be for fall, the way that that's like red leaves almost. We've got musical notes here. Ooh, that one's nice too with the little holly berries. Let's see what this one, okay, that one's that one. Oh, what do we have here? Ooh, ooh, that one's pretty too. Okay, hang on. <laughs> That's the same as, is that the same as this one? Yeah, it's the same as this one. Okay, I got to narrow down. So, I read an interesting thing today that I have to share with you because I had no idea. So apparently, so imagine you're having trouble sleeping at night and you close your eyes and you're going to count sheep because that's what we're supposed to do. When you count sheep, do you just imagine that you're counting sheep or do you actually close your eyes and see sheep in your head I, apparently some people just um just count and don't actually see sheep i see sheep i see a cartoon sheep with a green field and a brown fence and trees and like it's, it's the whole thing built out um i had no idea that some people don't see that and some people see a range somewhere in between I did not know this. So when I say, can you visualize it? Maybe you can't, depending on, on your brain. So I apologize if that's the case. But um, I, I'm going to go towards, well, you know what? I'm going to let you guys pick. Which paper should we use? Should we use this one that has the berries? So it's like holly and berries. Um, or should we use this one with the bigger pattern? So let's just say small or big because... Um, there, this has berries on it too. So, um, you don't see sheep. Okay. No sheep. Wow. You just count. Huh? I did not know. I thought everybody just could visualize it in their brains. And apparently that is not the case. So, so good for me to know this. All right. So, uh, which one are we going to do big or small? Oh, it's, this is going to be a, 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 a tie. I can tell big, big, small, 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 big, it's looking pretty, boy. Yeah, I, it's almost half and half, friends. I'm seeing a few more smalls, I think. Oh, now I'm seeing bigs. <laughs> you you can't keep your focus to count sheep. Yeah, you just count no sheep. <gasps> wow. Um, all right. I, gosh, all right. I can tell I'm going to need to be making a, a second card after the video because I'm seeing votes for both and I got to get started making. So we're just going to go small <laughs> because I'm seeing both. Uh, yeah. All right. I got to stop counting and start cutting. Right, friends? All right. We're going to go small on this one. And hey, we can always do an option with big. All right. I'm going to cut this at four inches. And you know what? While I'm at it, let's just cut Let's just cut the big one two, four inches. Big, small, big, small. You see cute sheep? <laughs> Me too. And they're super cute. I don't know. Must have been a car cartoon I saw as a kid or something because it's very detailed. <laughs> All right. And yeah, it doesn't really work for me either. But, you know, they're really cute. All right. Let's see. Let's bring in our die cutting machine here. And we're going to die cut some bits here. So while I'm die cutting this, so we were talking earlier about um, a demonstrator, being a demonstrator and the different options of being a demonstrator. You can just be a hobby demonstrator or a discount diva where you're in it for the discount. That is 100% okay. Um, there is a minimum 
uh, sales minimum to be a, uh, stay active as a demonstrator. The nice thing is you're not subject to that minimum until your first full quarter. So if you join here in October, that this quarter has already started, so you're not subject to that minimum till the end of March. So anything you order from now to the end of March could count towards you continuing as a demonstrator. If you do not meet the minimum by the end of March, you go into pending status, you have another month to make it up. And then if you don't, you just go back to being a customer, you get to keep all of the things you bought at a discount um, while you were a demonstrator and trying it out. So there is, really no reason to, to uh, be worried about giving it a try. The minimum is $300 per quarter here in the US. So you visualize German Shepherds. <laughs> My niece has a German Shepherd, his name is Hades, and they are so in love with him. It's just absolutely the cutest thing to watch how gaga they are over their dog because I'm pretty crazy about my dogs too. So I totally get it, <laughs> so. Uh, in fact, I just bought her a, um, I found a company that you can have a customized search and find book for your dog. So you tell what breed your dog is and there's a bunch of different color options that you can pick and your dog's name. And then it's a, like a Where's Waldo book, but with the name of your dog. So <laughs> super fun. All right. So we're going to do, I'm just cutting big and small here could do big and small. You're absolutely right. Um, let's see. Is that one I got berries in? Dang, I wish I could get a pine cone in. There's one down here. Uh, nah. I'm going to do this. Can't waste that much paper, can I? <laughs> we'll go with the berries on this one, too. All right. It's got a nice holly leaf on it, though. All right. Here we go. Let's crank this through. And then we're going to do a white one. Well, I love these nested essential dies. And this is a really fun shape. You can actually do this uh, build a card. I'll show you in a minute where you just kind of nest these and do them across the card. Let's cut a white one here. <laughs> You're usually so tired you just fall, fall asleep without a strategy. Oh, I, I envy you. Some nights I do struggle falling asleep. All right. Well, my family is back home. That means it's time for us to have dinner and watch our show. All right. Oops. It's okay, we're gonna make this card. They don't need to know. I'm cutting enough to make two cards. Probably have to do it after after the fact, but at least I'll be. Oh, wait, I got more to cut. Why am I putting the machine out of the way? We got more to cut, friends. Okay, hang on. Picking this up off the floor where it fell. <laughs> All right, let's bring this back in. And now the fun, now the fun part, the little doodads to decorate, right? So we're going to do some of the pine needles here. And then there's a whole bunch of these little branchy bits. <laughs> branchy bits. All right. So if I look on the back of the package, which I have momentarily lost. Oh, found it. Um, it tells me that this has a shaded spruce is the green that is listed. That was my guess. Let's, oh boy. Hang on. Let me grab some shaded spruce. And... We're going to do some gold here. Hang on. Sorry, I know my wife on the mic. Bear with me. Shaded spruce. I store my cardstock in these little pocket folders that I get from Stampin' Storage. Um, they're really handy. Let's see. Is this... Uh, that's not white enough. This is white enough, though. All right. Let's go with that. And I just keep them in a file drawer. All right. <laughs> Let's see. All right. You listen to Get Sleepy on YouTube. All right. I'm going to have to check that out. All right. Let's see. We could also, uh, Cherry Cobbler is the, the red listed, but I think um, actually Real Red would look really nice with this as well. All right. 
but I think there might be enough red going on in our, let's see how we did. Woo. <laughs> all right, here we go. Did that cut all the way? Yeah, it did. It just doesn't want to let go. Oh, maybe it didn't. No, it did. I just couldn't get it out. All right, isn't that pretty? I can poke out the middle bits here. Let's not poke ourselves this time, Susan. <laughs> I have to talk to me when I'm stamping. So, okay, there to myself. All right, here we go. So if you have any questions about being a, a demonstrator, you can reach out to me. Um, go to my blog, suestampfield.com, click on contact, uh, contact me, and um, you can reach out to me that way. And I'm happy to answer any questions you have. So there is the gold. Oh, so pretty, you guys. That's going to be super cute. And look, it had a whole bunch of them. <laughs> a whole bunch of them. I don't even know if we're going to use, we're going to use a few of them, but not all of them. The other cool thing about this. <gasps> oh, okay. Hang on. Hang on. We have to cut a Noel. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cute out of the glimmer? I think so. Let's cut a Noel. All right. Hang on. I'm just making it up as I go along, friends. I'm just making it up as I go along. All right. There we go. Let's flip this over. <laughs> and let's do, uh, this is one of the cool things about this diet. So not only can you cut out the letters, Noel, you can also, you know, cut a square and you can cut out a frame that says Noel. Like you can use it either way. I want another pine needle if I didn't lose it. Here it is. Okay. And another little pine bow deal, although I might, well, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. All right. Okay. All right, let's make a card, friends. Let's make a card. We got lots of pretty bits that we can turn into a beautiful card. I'm confident in our abilities, right? Can you see that, Noel? Oh, it's going to be fun. All right. Let's pop this out and let's see what we come up with. All right, I'm thinking of a white card base for this. I'm I'm dreaming of a white card base. All right, not a white Christmas, but a white card base. Okay, so that would be. No, dang it! Hang on. Uh, I have a stack of white card bases on my desk, but it ate them. So I'm going to just cut one because we can. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use thick for this. Ooh, thick, basic white. It's so luxuriant. Love it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and just go on with the flow. You got it. And let's go ahead and score this right here. Whoops, let's bring this up here. You can also get the thick in white or in vanilla. We're using white. Jennifer is dropping those numbers in the where's my bone folder up? Oh, found it. There we go. All right, so we're gonna bring in our first card for reference. So this one, I've got big and small. So these are the small ones. So we can do this. We can put our sentiment on here and have our little sprigs coming out like this. We can also do or we could do the big ones. Where did these dimensional papers go? <laughs> they just like magically appeared. What the heck? What the heck is happening here? All right. Let's see. I am missing some of what's going on in the chat, but it sounds like some of our friends have um, experienced some losses here. So I'm I'm so sorry to hear that. And I'll have to catch up on the chat later, but sending prayers your way. Ooh, I kind of like the big one, you guys. Let's go with the big. Yep, yeah, let's do big. All right, so 
I'll make one with the small later, maybe. All right. Stamps, Susan, we need stamps. All right, we're gonna go with Making Spirits Bright, or we could do Joyous. All right, let me know in the comments if we're gonna do Making Spirits Bright or Joyous. We're gonna put Noel on the inside of the card. So that's our inside sentiment. And while you're voting, I'm gonna go ahead and stick these down. Yeah, I kind of like the big two, maybe because of my white card. Like maybe this would be better if I did had different, if I had like a colored card base, like the red maybe. All right, put it right there, but I'm not gonna press it down all the way so I can see how I'm doing. I am seeing a few more void votes for joyous. Again, I'm not going to press all the way. All right. So we're going to go with joyous here. Are we? Sure we are. Oh, is that going to fit? Oh, sorry. That was really loud. <laughs> sorry for that loud crinkle sound, friends. All right. Okay. Is I don't know if this is going to fit. We might be doing the other one. I think my J is not going to fit. Oh, you got upside down, Susan. Come on. Get with the program. Yeah, that's not as fitting as well as, let's see if this one will fit. We're going to use whichever one fits. Oh my gosh, that was like it was made for it. All right, sorry. Sorry, people that voted for Joyous. I should have measured before I spoke. Um, that one was not going to fit on our die cut. No, I could have just done a bigger die cut. That would have been an option, but everything else is ready to go. So we're not going to. All right, Making Spirits Bright is right there, and I'm going to do it in real red. Um, there is cherry cobbler in this, so you could go either way. Um, I'm just going to go with a little pop of red and see what we think. We don't like it. I've got that other one I cut. <laughs> and we could do it in shaded spruce instead. But I think a little pop of red might be fun. Let's see what we think. All right, making spirits bright. And then we have our little sprigs coming out like that. Yes, I like it in the red. Let's go for it. Um, I think I'm going to tighten it up a little bit, though. This one, we had some really long pieces. Um, this one, they're a little bit smaller. So I'm going to bring my, um, my nested shapes a little bit closer together. And see how that looks. All right, we're going to go with that. So let's get some dimensionals here. I do want some more. Uh oh, <laughs> you see what I'm looking at here? Two of them have been pulled off. Only one is accounted for. That means uh, one has gone rogue and is running around somewhere in my stamp room. That's OK. We've got more because when you die cut this, you get like five of them. So let's peel off one of these other ones. I don't know where the heck that one went to. And I'm going to add a little bit more here. I'll just have that coming up like that. That's pretty. You could even do a third one if you wanted to. Let's just go with two. <laughs> I forgot which side I was putting the dimensionals on. Oh my goodness. All right. Whoa. All right. Hang on. It jumped off the desk. Found it. They ran under the desk. So. All right. Well, they certainly could be matted, Joe. You could mat them with the nested essential dies. Um, the next size up. All right. Wait. Almost forgot to stick those guys in. Were you guys yelling at me going, Susan, don't forget this? stick the little bits in. Let's see. I think I, these guys might get their own dimensional. We'll see. There. I got it. I tagged it, but this is totally crooked, Susan. Oh my goodness. Hang on. It's a little bit crooked. I gotta fix it. It does not want to come off. All right. Does that look straight, friends? I 
think that's straight right there. All right. There we go. Okay. So we've got this. We're going to add some gems on here on the inside. We're going to put our Noel. There we go. N O E L. Now those actually could go on the front as well um, instead of the, the sentiment we chose. Peel and stick. So this is that beautiful glimmer uh, paper. It comes in. Um, you get a sheet of silver and a sheet of gold. And it's already got the adhesive sheet on the back. So you just die cut it and then peel and stick. I am doing it just like the die was shaped, whether it's coming in a square shape. So let's pull this off here. All right, Jennifer, while I'm doing this, can you look in the catalog and tell me what gold embellishments we have that I could use? Because I'm coming up with a blank right now. Because I would like to add some gold on the front here. All right, something's crooked. I think it's my E. Might have been the L, actually. Noel, and you absolutely could add uh, the sprig behind there. I don't think I need it. I'm going to keep it just like that for the inside. And then I want to add some bling on here. All right, hang on. I'll put that on the floor. I'm going to put this here. Let's see. Oh, we do have these. We do have the, you can use the cutout part to line up the letters. Oh, aren't you smart, Fonda? Yes. Could use that to give it a, a frame to cut up the letters. You also could cut this out and save that um, middle of the O. And you could get two cards out of one, right? It could say Noel on the front like that. Festive pearls. Oh, yeah. I found the uh, brushed metallic adhesives. But you're right. Festive pearls. Let me find those. Hang on. I know where they should be and they're not there. Oh, here they are. Found them. <laughs> found them. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. That's perfect. Thank you, Jennifer and friends. All right. So we're going to just go with... A little bit of extra bling here with the festive pearls. These are part of the um, Walk in the Garden suite of products, which is not Christmas, but we are going to use these. They do work great for Christmas, so we're going to use them for Christmas. Uh, where do I want to put this one? Mm -hmm. so hard to decide on anything. <laughs> uh, let's see. No, I think I want it on the white. I'll put it right here. All right, there we go. Now, I know several of you are saying that this is plainer than you like and you would like to see an embossed layer. Absolutely could do that. Uh, the thing is, when you are making a lot of Christmas cards, you do want to pick a design that you feel like you can make a lot of. Or the other thing you can do is you can pick a design, make 10 of that design, then do another, a different design for the rest of your cards. That way you don't get bored and you can keep it, uh, keep it um, interesting, right? So these, again, are the same layout, just um, two different products, but we use the same, um, the same nested essential dies and uh, the same layout for our cards. So let me know in the comments, which one is your favorite? If you like the Magical Meadow version or if you like the Joy of Noel version better. So, and again, you absolutely, I think this would be fun on a red, real red card base. So I'm gonna take these extra pieces that I have. <laughs> this is a different pattern of the paper. And I'm going to make this same card on a real red card base. And I will share that in the Sue Stampfield Facebook group. Anyone can join us there. Just go to Facebook and search for Sue Stampfield and uh, request to join the group and I will pop you in. So env envision this. 
<laughs> in real red and we'll see what we think of that one so i'm gonna flip the camera here <clears throat> all right so i'm gonna flip this where are we there we go yay my hair is wild i've been stamping like crazy <laughs> thanks so much for helping me to design the cards tonight i'm happy with what we came up with and i appreciate your help as always but most importantly, thank you so much for making and sending handmade cards. Together, we're going to make the world a kinder place. Take care, everyone. Quick reminder, if you're not currently subscribed to the free project sheets, you can do that right here. Go to Sue Stampfield, click on subscribe, and um, you'll get a thank you email with two free project sheets to get you started right away and get you creating cards. Have a great evening, everyone. Bye-bye.